Calico, is you ready, nigga? First smack back. What's happening? What's happening? You already know this is another edition of the best podcast you've ever heard of. Uh, we're about to have another fantastic show. I say this each and every time, and I. My track record's impeccable. I haven't let y'all down yet, I don't think. I'm probably being a little bit um, arrogant, feeling myself a little bit, but sometimes masturbation is okay. Mm. <laughs> you already know who I am. This is Latours, a.k.a. Shug motherfucking Fresh Brother. And this show, this is a part of Shug Week. <laughs> if you ain't know who Shug is, that's your fucking loss. He is the catalyst for this with me. That's my uh, twin brother, who I love dearly, lost him four years ago. Uh, on June 14th. Ever since then, I've been doing uh, Suge Week. During the whole week, uh, we just kick and celebrate him and we culminated on the weekend with a cookout or get together to celebrate the greatest nigga I've ever known on this earth. Uh, a lot of people who know him and shit know he probably like, they say he's one of the funniest people that they ever met. He's one of the funniest people they ever met. And I used to always tell him that he wasn't funnier than me. And I meant that shit. Even though he's gone now, he still ain't funnier than me. But that that was the perfect motherfucker. Um, we complimented each other perfectly when we were doing uh, some of the things we were doing. Anybody who's been fucking with me for a long time know about board running my trap. We set that shit on fire. I be telling everybody, man, we was ahead of the fucking curve. We was ahead of the wave. Everybody doing videos and shit now. But we was on a, that, this shit was like 2007, 2008. Uh, so that's what this is. This should week, man. It's been so much shit in entertainment trying to fuck up. Mm-hmm. Fuck it up. But listen. Boy. None of y'all can have this week. This is our week. But anyway, enough of that. Shout out to my nigga, 62179. You came first, I came second. That's that. What's happening with you, though, my nigga? Shit, not much. Your boy, Corey GQ Fresh, a.k.a. I like the sun shining at night. Bright as a wait a minute. I like the sun shining at night. I'm mad. You remember that from that beanie? Uh, yeah, yeah. Beanie. I hate that we gotta segue that quick, but he's probably one of the most underrated rappers ever. Yeah, he he. Man, you like beans? That uh, reason. Early uh, beans, man. People don't know man. Beans was a fucking monster. Though. Some of the best. We never talk about these diss tracks when we talk about the best diss tracks. Him and Jadakiss going back. Oh. Him and Jadakiss was killing each other. You fuck with that? You hit that? That shit was hard as fuck. I know really hip it, but I know about it. I'm yeah. like, hey, well, I'm going uh, <laughs> to see you later. I'm talking about I listen to that shit today. Them yeah, niggas was barring each other up. They was barring each other up. Shout out to Beans. And, and they had nobody did they beat for them. They was just letting them rap. Hell and yeah. And them niggas was saying anything. That shit was cool though, but yeah, we, like I said, we about to have another fantastic show. Yeah. We gonna uh, first off, fuck that. I gotta shout out the newest and the integral part to the team, Javar Superstar uh, Jones. He the man behind the camera making a lot of this uh, push we making to uh, go from backpackers to mainstream. <laughs> I'm trying to sell out, and he's gonna help us. He's gonna help us sell out. But uh, shout out to Javar, uh, undefeated fighter, welterweight pro. You find it lightweight. lightweight. Hey, I'm trying to make him big already. Pause. <laughs> lightweight prospect undefeated. He fighting this Saturday at the um at the factory, factory on Crawfordsville Road here in Indianapolis. Somebody's getting beat up. Part of Four Champs car. Um, Do you got have personal lessons? Oh, yeah. Corey uh, never been fucked with him, so he's going to teach him how to fight. Yeah, he did. He did. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm talking about I ain't Doug. Going, I ain't going. <laughs> Doug is hopeless. Fuck it. We're talking about Doug in a second. <laughs> Shout out to you, Doug. You gotta quit this shit. Yeah. You gotta quit letting these motherfucking white boys abuse you. Yeah, but look, uh, we got my nigga Illy Octane coming in here from Rich Harvest Records. He's a previous guest. He's doing what niggas do, coming in ultra late. Uh, but I guess when you uh, attain some sort of level of fame, you get that right to Man. not give a fuck. But no, nah, he overslept and he be here. Uh, we plan on playing some of his new music. I'll wait for him to Send it to me, but again, it just came through. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a fantastic show. What we always kick it off with the weekend recap, uh-huh. and this was a weekend that actually meant something to uh, niggas who take care of their kids. That was your father's day. Ah, uh, it was it was great. I mean, you know, just another day really, but it was cool. Got to uh, get a big old steak dinner. That's the highlight. Yes. That's what's up. You ain't you ain't do nothing spectacular. I seen you post uh, on Instagram and shit. Shout to everybody out. Ah yeah, that's. I mean, I just uh, went home, had a 
cook a little breakfast. And um, like I said, I went to Longhorn, hung out um, with my parents, my pops. You know, it's okay, man. You ain't got to stretch it out. If you ain't do shit, you getting gifts. Shit. You getting gifts. Nah. I got I got a few gifts. Look, I'll call you. But ain't no gift. I kicked I kicked my uh, Facebook habit. The only reason why I'm back on right now is because it should we. And I forgot how much I hate niggas. <laughs> I hate I hate people and their incessant rants about nothing. Like nah, they just yeah. sit there post post post. And I mean it's, it's it is what it is. I was part of that nonsense at one point in time. But uh, being that I ain't been on Facebook so long, people don't really notice I'm back. And I must say, this is the least amount of shout outs I've gotten on Father's Day in my life. Oh, it's man. like 10 people in the entire world told me Happy Father's Day. I, I'm of the ill though, where I don't care about it. Like, yeah, I, I, mean, it's, I don't care about that kind of shit, but I was shocked at, the, uh, at, at, at my stock drop since leaving Facebook. I, I sent you a text, didn't I? Let me check, make sure. And you was one of the teens. I was one of the teens. <laughs> but, um, uh, where was I at? Where was I at? Where Facebook, they don't know you back. Facebook, Facebook. Ah, oh, fuck Facebook. I'm trying to, like, in my brain, trying to reprogram everything. I'm getting old. I'll be forgetting shit gifts. Yeah, gifts. What'd you get? My best gift was a gift from my daughter. She was so fucking happy. She just, she been telling me happy birthday, my birthday Thursday. She been telling me happy birthday for the last week. Yeah. Every time she talked to me, I'm like, no, it's next week. She's like, okay. Like she's just excited to tell me happy birthday, whatever. She um she got me some ugly ass, and I'm glad by the time she get to hear this, she'll be an adult and I'll be gone. <laughs> but she got me these ugly ass and one flip flops, and she was so fucking happy to give them to me. Like when she was, when I was getting them out, she was staring at me, mm-hmm. and she got me a card too. She proud of the card, the card over there on the table, the one that shaped like a trophy. Okay. She was looking at my expression, and I was aware of her reaction. She was so, I'm talking about she was beaming. She cheesed in ear to ear looking at me. And so I said, I got to play the part. Act like this you is the like greatest the fucking best gift. Man, I, act, I, I played it so tough. Man, I'm like, oh, this is the greatest gift I've ever got. I'm like, I'm so happy. I'm like, how are you the best? How are you so able to always do the best? I was like, this is incredible. And she over there cheesing and smiling and shit. I'm going to continue that shit just a little bit later. Because it's a part two to her. Oh, I think she's trying to finesse me. My son. Again. I don't care about gifts, but if you go give me a gift, show some effort. Yeah, that's I'm 17 name. years old. You know, dude. show some effort. Yeah. He gave me my gift. It's it's in a Samsung box. I thought I had it right here, but it's in, it's in a Samsung little circle box. I think what kind of baller shit did he just do? You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, the motherfucker care. I took a little bit closer and shit. I'm like, did he drop that motherfucker a few times? <laughs> <laughs> the, the box looked dirty. You know what uh, I'm but I keep my game face on. Mm-hmm. So I look, I open it up, and it's one of those smart watches, Samsung Gear 2. Uh, okay. So I'm like, damn, that's cool. And it was clean, you know what I'm saying? But I was, and it was some Beats headphones in there. But the earbuds, you know what I'm uh, saying? And I knew they wasn't. Was like, I said, like, this nigga here regifted me. <laughs> Fuck a regift. Damn. They was hand me down. It was his yeah. old shit. And what and what threw me off, which I appreciate it. Uh I'm not into the smartwatch thing, but I'm gonna tell you why. And me and him had a discussion about this because he talking about getting the little all right, what is the Apple Watch? The Apple Watch. And yeah. I'm like, why do you want an Apple Watch? Everything he doing now is status shit, which he young enough to do it, and I understand it, but even though he young, I try to uh you know what I'm saying? Imparting him some kind of wisdom and shit about spending it frivolously. So I'm telling him, why would you get an Apple Watch that's going to do the same thing as the phone you got? Yeah. And I'm telling him, like, I give him a long speech. We sitting down talking. And this is like a couple weeks ago. I said, you already got a Samsung watch. So, I mean, you can sync them with certain features that won't work. And nothing I said made a fucking difference. Yeah, the Apple Watch ain't going to work. At all, yeah, iPhone. It will, yeah. Not that, no. The, the Apple Watch definitely work with the iPhone. Yeah, no, the so does he have an iPhone? Ah, okay. I thought yeah. he had like a um, Samsung phone. No, that's how I come here so willingly to give me a cent his old gear. Ah, so okay. I get on, I get on Google and I'm trying to see like what I'll put in gear two, uh-huh. and it's a gear four. I said, no, I'm way the fuck behind. Uh, hey, yo, <laughs> you really like, gave me your leftover. Oh, uh, they brought you mad 93 from Sega. Exactly. But, but you know what? That's all the jokes and shit. He, 
He gave me his hand me downs, which I'm not mad. He ain't got to go out and spend no money. And the shit's still viable. I like it. I'm going to fuck with it. It's going to be good for when I work out. Uh, I'm always needing headphones. So, really, I'm just talking shit. And I, pre- I appreciate anything I get, especially, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, speaking of gifts and shitty gifts or whatever, so every year I get my father a gift that I want. Yeah. So, like, like he want it's just shoes I want. I said, damn, I need some dress shoes, but I got to take care of these bills. So, I... I like my father really liked chocolate covered uh, cherries and cashews, so I would get the shoes. Like I've done this previous before, I get the shoes he won't wear them. So if I'm like running late, I take a suit over to his house. Like damn, I ain't got no shoes. He got a pair of shoes you ain't worn in a minute. He like shit just got here. Take them. <laughs> I'm like yeah, and then be my shoes. So that's why I got them this week, and I can't wait to wear them. Dress shoes. So also Sunday, me and my daughter went and seen The Incredibles too, which I must say was very, very, very uh, disappointing. I ain't seen I, one. I didn't, I didn't, you just see one. Mm-mm. One was good as hell. Uh, two was pretty drawn out. Ah, okay. It was drawn. Out. I don't think they tried to make the story a little bit too serious at points, but the uh, Jack Jack, the little baby scene was some of the funniest shit. I'm in there laughing out loud and shit like, uh, like, like I'm a child. Um, shout out to my nigga Ili Octane, my nigga uh, SA. They just walked in. You're cordially invited to have a seat with us. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but look, I'll take my daughter. We up there watching the movie and shit. And Destiny don't have an inside voice. She don't know what the fuck be quiet means. And she talks loud in movies. But I had to tell her a couple times, be quiet, whatever. And I don't know like what she was thinking about during the course of the movie, but she asked me, like she whispered, she said, Dad. What gift did you get me? She asked me, what did I get her for Father's Day? And I was just laughing. I, I was going to get her something, but I wouldn't have been teaching a proper lesson. What's happening with you, man? What's going on? What's going on, bro? Chilling, chilling. Got my nigga, like I say, Elliot Octane on this motherfucker. Uh, oh, you already know. <laughs> my nigga, S.A. S.A., I got to go over there. What's happening with y'all? We just over here recapping our Father's Day weekend. And we got two more fathers in here. What you do for Father's Day weekend? Illy, Illy. Uh, I went uh, swimming, man. Something I don't usually do. You know what I mean? <laughs> My babies was out of town. They came back to the city for Father's Day, so they wanted to swim. So that's all I did. That's spectacular. That's spectacular. If you make it spectacular, <laughs> was having fun. Getting the tan. Niggas don't even need to get no tan. But yeah, they had fun. You tan proof, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> What's that essay? You probably took your bra strap off, saw your little team marks. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's happening? What's happening with you, How man? You up, man? Oh man, my baby mama, my birthday baby mama just, I guess, to drop the kids off on me. No food, no clothes. Come on, man, we ain't here for no goddamn sad stories. I had the time. That's how it happened. Well, let me get it. Let me get a motherfucker. Two years. Oh, you had to get them two years. Yeah, she just dropped them off. So it was like that was a blessing. I'm gonna tell you that. To your side of the story. Yeah, uh-huh. that sorry ass nigga ain't did shit for them in two years. Yeah, I gave him. Yeah, yeah, he gonna get on something now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, now he ain't getting them back. He ain't been answering the phone in two, two years. Listen, that's the phone in two weeks. You answer that phone in two weeks, you ain't gonna see him again. <laughs> but anyway, did you enjoy him? I'm at home right now. Oh, you ain't sending him back. Oh. Teach her a fucking lesson. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you. Next time you see him, there be adults. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hey, college like, and everything. Getting the war and shit. Yeah, yeah uh, I was telling them, man, that when you reach some sort of, uh, some level of fame, that you start showing up to places fashionably late. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Walking in, I thought you were going to ask me for the pink Starburst. Where's the pink Starburst, hey, when, you, when you called, was like, let me speak to your assistant. I'm like, that's why I'm late. I ain't got one of them right now. <laughs> hey, what is that say doing? Damn, he, help, he helping me out. He good yeah, with it, yeah. Kate. He was sending mean? emails from the passenger seat. Yeah, okay. You <laughs> got the songs, didn't you? Yeah, yeah eventually. That's what I said. Eventually. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. Next time, uh, Fonz work. Bring the umbrella. <laughs> it's teamwork. No fucking with you, though, man. I was about to say what else you get into this weekend, but oh, I saw you this weekend, both of y'all. Yeah, yeah, at the uh, yeah. fashion show, the yeah, yeah. models. Uh, how you enjoy yourself? I had a ball, man. It was good to see uh see my partner do her thing. You know what I mean? She um, worked hard on it, so I came through with my people and blessed the situation. I thought it was real cool. Besides the heat in there, you know what I mean, right. which I think everybody was a little disappointed about, but the actual show went real good. She did she did her thing on there. Why she you had the walk? calendars. That's what, yeah. Ah, okay. Why you didn't walk? 
For me, I prefer them. That's what's up. That's what I was asking. Why you didn't walk in there? Why you didn't walk in there? Why you didn't walk in there? Why you didn't walk in why, why not? I'm not shaming my yeah, head. I, I, I have a beautiful <laughs> head. I have a beautiful head. Y'all always got jokes. It's like, what's the set of cops? Pause. Pause. My joke should never make you come. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, uh, it was a nice event, man. Uh, it was, where was we at? Uh, Legends. Legends event. Oh, Legends. Like Legends. That. that was my first time being in there. Uh, in a previous in, in, incarnation, it was a pizza parlor. <laughs> that was right, a pizza right. parlor. Uh, it was a good, a good show. First, um, was, that was the first modeling thing, right? Yeah, that was her. That was her first fashion show of her, with her own brand on it. I so must I, say, I, man, I have never seen so many pancake titties in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like you can see, AJ kicked in on some of them models, man. Like so, mm-hmm. there was some of the most depressed, no, depressed no, titties no. I have ever seen in my titty viewing life. And I've seen a lot of titties. <laughs> I've seen a lot of titties, so man. Seen a lot of smash downs. Not that many like Damn. that. Like them titties right there was like. They've been in a bad tub for five years. <laughs> they got wrinkled. <laughs> so Damn. I'm not I don't know who cities they was. <laughs> so it's not personal. <laughs> it's just me looking up. It's titties. titties. Watch your titties. Yeah. Oh, hey God. man, can you pick them up, man? We gotta walk. Like, you don't step on those. <laughs> people behind you. Yeah. And then it was some good performances. Uh I don't understand how the initiative is that old and moves down and you know, see she's like a like a ball, but bounces. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. just drops down so effortlessly. <laughs> and now like, she got a second win. I think so. And I'm like, how in the fuck do your legs not hurt? I'm sure you can't even sprint. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like bitches can't even sprint, man, but they be athletic. Like, you ever see some shit like that? <laughs> like you ever been in a strip club? You like that bitch strong? Like she be holding on the pole and shit, uh, doing all kinds of fantastic shit. Uh, uh-huh. And you be like, I bet that bitch was lazy as fuck in school at PE. You know what I'm saying? Every time it's time to swim, she this found, bitch on the pier. She found her niche. Uh, oh. Whoever was grabbing on that pole, they found their niche. That's crazy. Like, I, y'all I like, need track for this. All that time. <laughs> y'all told me how to go to PE, and all I had to do was hear a good song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's like they fucking superpower they, and they shit. They should have pole classes in, uh, in elementary school. No, the fuck they shouldn't. <laughs> this fucking decrepit society, they probably trending towards said, that, this though. This should be a part of the Olympics. They... You don't think Paul Dunn should be a part of the Olympics? Now, now, that, now you, you raising the you raising the good issue, man. Because they have the ones I done seen on there. That shit is acrobatic. That's but not. How no. would you judge though? Like they have gymnastics. Yeah. This would take away from gymnastics. I mean, if you can do shit on the beam, why well, you can't do nothing on the pole? What's like? What's the difference? Mm-hmm. The music. If you get no music there. on the beam, uh, do they have music? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. These bitches ain't. They can only do that if they hear music. Jeez. It's like the activation and shit. So when they do the beam in the Olympics, like put Migos on to see if it changes their routines. <laughs> I, can, I can only imagine. Do you freak with the uh, Shake Clubs, they say? They dirty, man. They trash. Yeah, last one I went to, it was like, that was like a straight hole in the wall down south Mississippi strip. Was they naked? Half of them houses smell like White Castle and shit. Oh, man. <laughs> How long did you stay in there? I didn't touch it, bitch. No, how long did you stay in there? 24 hours. Like, like, damn. Who was there to support somebody's video shit? I can see you now. (laughs) Hey, bitch, what's your name? Hey, I ain't about beer on no bitch smell like some shit that ain't. Man, listen, like we were sitting there. Man. Like, like, we were sitting there. Hey, did she smell like McDonald's? Like, like McDonald's like, 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 fast food smell good when you're hungry. But she can dance bitch. like a motherfucker, but not when she got the pop of that motherfucker. You don't want to smell McDonald's when you already have it. Hell, dog. You don't want to smell no shit. I don't even want to smell no goddamn like this like a new car. I don't want to smell a bitch that's like a new car. That's not right. That's not normal. But, uh, yeah, it's been an eventful week, man. Uh, we gonna kick it off though. We we definitely gonna have to go deep into uh, what you got going on, but we we got a little bit more format structure since the last time you was here, yeah. where we kick off topics and things. We try to get the sports out of the way for our female viewing and listening audience because they don't hear that sports <laughs> shit. Uh, Kawhi Leonard said he want to trade. Y'all familiar with that? Nah, I, I seen some shit on uh, on the internet earlier that they was just throwing some teams around. People were around with some teams, but. I ain't heard he want to be traded. Who, who are we trying to go to? L.A. So play LA. This is all speculation. Kyle's we haven't heard him yeah. talk. Yeah. And I just found out this week. I wonder if he could. What if he's yeah, a mute? He, he like, what if he's a mute? Like, 
Because you never never seen him do an interview. He's just playing basketball. Nothing. That's all he do. I ain't it's know. I've never heard him talk. Like, I don't know his voice sound like. I just found out this week that he is from California. I yeah. didn't know that. Even though he went to San Diego State, he just got the vibe of a California nigga. He, he, he seemed like he's he 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 still, like still got the car like, like, around. All these hairstyles, he still like let me get six to the back. Yeah. <laughs> and listen, the last nigga that we could accept to do that was Allen Iverson. He was yeah. the last nigga we could have in our NBA with cornrows. <laughs> he needed at least die the tips. <laughs> he got at least got tips in that motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, but the NBA offseason come up draft uh, Thursday. Yeah. Uh, why in the fuck mm-hmm. haven't they given out the MVP? Like, do you ever call them wait this late to give out the MVP? Like, they got a war show on the 25th. Cleveland right? fucked it up by getting swept. So they yeah. got stretched out. They're supposed to do it like after. So, yeah, oh, yeah. too short. Well, they want to play short of a series. Yeah. yeah. they like, fuck. Now we got it stretched. Who you got your MVP? I ain't really been watching, but it sounds like it should go to KD. Oh, yeah, like you ain't been watching. Yeah, you yeah. definitely <laughs> ain't been watching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you watch sports? Yeah, no. You don't? That's cool, though. I mean, I accept you for who you are. It don't make me look at you no different. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I used to have, I used to think, man, the niggas didn't watch sports as fags. Nah, when I, I was young. I don't watch it because it's like no entertainment. Bro. You played, though, did you? When you young? You yeah. see, until my parents stopped motherfuckers supporting, so it was like, that shit was out the window. <laughs> Once yeah. I get the streets, it was over. Uh, I'm in a new game. Yeah. <laughs> new game. Shit, these eight balls in the corner. Oh, God, for real. Look. What's some basketball? No, nah, but uh, we we it, it's been an interesting week music wise on the national scene. First off, man. Oh, speaking of sports, did you uh see old oh, boy brother got shot at the club, and then oh, next yeah. day that shit got burnt down. The club got, the burnt, club down. got burnt down. The very next day. Talking about uh, Roger Randolph, Roger Randolph Zach Randolph, brother, Zach Zach brother. brother. Rest in peace, Roger too. Uh, uh, Illy, Illy homeboy. Um, they didn't even really. That's something we could talk about. They didn't really go into like. Damn, like we just got the newspaper article. They said they found he dead, shot by five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah everybody been getting shot lately, though. Yeah, yeah. For y'all, for y'all like, they, they said Dolph just shot LeBron somebody. You know what No, we all think LeBron was going to be talking about this. I just said Dolph shot somebody. I forget what. So right who did? This was. I'm gonna yeah. tell you, man. Every time, like summertime, come up and shit start going crazy. First off, let me digress just a little bit again. Shout out to my homeboy Kenner. Uh, he lost his pops, man, last week. Uh, they had a funeral today. Pray for pray for his uh, peace and his mom, him and his family. I make sure I want to shout that out. But I, I always think about Chance the Rapper got this song on uh, Acid Rap, his mixtape, which is a fucking mixtape classic. But he said you should pray for a little bit of uh, spring. He said everybody everybody dies in the summer, so you should pray for a little bit more spring. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy, man, because that seems trendy. Or I don't know if you pay more attention to it, because in the words of uh, Cameron, under the guise of uh, the street <laughs> killer on Harlem, every, people die every day, see? Yeah. I'm a crip. <laughs> so yeah. I don't say that. But, <laughs> no, I'm people get shot every day, B. Yeah, You'll be but, all right. <laughs> yeah, and, and I, and I want to talk about that a little bit later, that statement and shit, but mm-hmm. um, moving on to the music. First, first, J- Javar said this. Where do you think LeBron going to go? Because we all over the place real quick. Murder, yeah. mayhem, and basketball. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where do you think he's going? I don't really think he's going nowhere, man. I, I, I feel like he had to have another team built somewhere unless he go to L.A. I can't really see no, him. I don't want to see that. Yeah, I can't really see him leaving Cleveland. I think they're going to dish that bankroll out and try to get some other players. They they strapped. They, they fight strapped up. Yeah. They got to get rid of like six niggas. And shit yeah. get one good <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, most of them expendable. But so, they not. Don't nobody they want them. Nobody Just like you said, they expendable. Nobody want them. Yeah. Nobody want yeah. them. Kind you of can have him. This nigga ain't shit. You can have him, bitch. If he ain't shit, you ain't gonna be shit over here. Yeah. That's how they feel about J.R. Smith. So, so he pretty much should get more money if he do go somewhere else. Uh, he's gonna give him the most. Yeah, Cleveland. But LeBron, he but trade. You yeah. saw him. LeBron, he had, I'm sure, financially secure enough to where money's like the last thing. But I don't know what he's chasing. Like, all right, because his legacy is sealed. Yeah. We have him as a consummate loser. <laughs> 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 he's a loser. A fun loser. Hey, but I'm going to tell you something. I want y'all to look at this. and stats don't mean nothing to me for the most part. Google Larry Bird versus LeBron James and then go to Land of Basketball, and you will be shocked at the statistical comparison. And you have to add to the fact that Larry Bird played in a, 
I'm sure that we all can agree a tougher NBA. But check that shit out. Y'all will be shocked. And especially like the number of seasons and things like that. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm not, a, I'm not caught up in the LeBron shit like everybody else. I see a, a stat dominant motherfucker and shit who's stronger than everybody. That's all I see when I see LeBron. But we had enough LeBron slander in the last two weeks to satisfy me <laughs> until next, uh, next year. <laughs> until next year. Uh, one thing I won't stand for though is the Jordan comparisons. Never. Uh, nah. But on, on the music side, we're going to start off with some tragedy. Um, the the rapper, man, X, X Tentacion, and I just learned out his name. Now he was uh, he was killed yesterday. And I got this clip I'm going to play, man. Y'all ain't going to be able to hear it because I'm just playing it. Matter of fact, I'm going to change this, man. Uh, okay. Uh, I ain't got my glasses on because I'm trying to look cool and shit. So I'm screaming at the screen. Y'all really made me like that. I'm screaming at the screen. I'm screaming at I'm going to play. I'm going to play. Yeah, can you see me? This is like. Worst thing comes to worst. I fucking died. It's tragic death or some shit. And I'm not able to see out my dreams. I at least want to know that the kids perceived my message and were able to make something of themselves and able to take my message and use it and turn it into something positive. And to, to at least have a good life. I at least, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna die or ever be a sacrifice, I want to make sure that my That's life be a sacrifice. That's what happened. at least five million kids have, or they found some sort of answers or resolve in my life, regardless of the negative around my name, regardless. Now I want to say this real quick. Something that stood out not just to me when I heard it the first time, but the word sacrifice. Yeah, that's what we just said. That was the woman I even did that. Huh? That was the woman I even did that. I, I don't know like what his value is for Illuminati to take him out of twenty. Yeah. Did you see that? Uh, did you see the little video he did with the little black boy and the little white boy? Did he got to talk about yeah, how yeah. all the little? Thing. I forgot about that. Yeah, like that's younger, what happened. I had no idea how powerful the impact he had on the younger generation. Yeah. It's a lot of them motherfuckers. Yeah. It's a lot of people think. saying I don't all know all how much. Think, think how old he is now? Because he's got me yeah. by depression. You think that all the motherfuckers that stay in high school, middle school, elementary, they fuck with that nigga? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and big just big for the record, he's trying to expose basically, it was like a message he was putting out. And he, was supposed and he exposed too basically. much. That's what the Illuminati period, when you do that, that's what happens. Like, I've been seen, I mean, like, far as like reading up on the music and everything that goes on, that's what happens. Playing a devil's advocate. Down, um, yeah. Upside down crosses. Playing a devil's down. advocate. What is Illuminati? Some shit I don't want to be involved in. I'll be honest with you, I really don't know too much about it. I read off of it, but I'm really kind of scared to get into it. Are you familiar with it? I've seen a video or two. Uh, I don't really fuck with it. I don't. I actually you fuck with. I'm saying, do you do you know anything about it? That some ritual you sacrifice somebody, then you be ultimately rich and powerful. No, that ain't what it is though. You familiar with it all? I'm gonna just say no. That's all you gotta do. Saying I don't know, there's nothing wrong with saying I don't know. But no, look, uh, Corey, he don't believe shit. Like a nigga can sit here, a nigga, a nigga. I'll show Corey a video. I'll show Corey LeBron, LeBron James pregame. Mm -hmm. He do this shit, which anybody who knows shit about anything, this is 666. Yeah. That's when they throw in this show, this 666. I didn't know it was 666. Because he don't study. But he will argue me down like he studied it. No. Then he does I think this. Kappa. He does this, and that's nice. the stupidest shit in the world. He know LeBron ain't no fucking Kappa, but just for the sake of argument. He does this, then he does this. Anybody know these are all symbols, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To show your allegiance. What they do, because they let other motherfuckers, they let other motherfuckers up. know that uh I'm a part of it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm letting you know that this is my loyalty, my loyalty is you. And this is pre game. Mm -hmm. This isn't after three pointer where they running doing this. Where some people do this shit, just showing, you know what I'm saying, like I hit a three pointer. But 666 six, six, all seeing eye. That's mm -hmm. why it originated shit. But Illuminati, man, uh, like I said, it's been watered down by just common people keep calling everything Illuminati. Illuminati was established in 1776. Mm -hmm. And it, look, Illuminati mean illumination. They think they have a higher thought process. And they think that they the leaders of the world and everybody else is sheep. Like they just uh, like collateral damage for anything. That's how come they don't care about going to wars. And all this stuff, and they like get you hyped up based on allegiance and shit. Far as this your country, this my country, where the heads of the countries all in collusion and shit. Yeah. It's all to keep people in disarray, which they use things like entertainment to distract us. 
you know what I'm saying? With us in particular, the black people, what they do is they give us entertainers and they lead us to worship. You know what I'm saying? If some people be saying like such such had to fuck to get in the uh, Illuminati. I first heard that shit, that shit was off to me anyway. Mm -hmm. I still don't believe that shit today. I think you can get niggas to sell their souls based off just financial promises and uh, promises of uh, fame and wealth. Uh, I don't know if people believe in the Bible. Some people just go to church, but it talks about selling your soul. Where uh, the adversary Satan tried to take the Messiah up and offer him these different things and shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me give you this. Look at that out there. Yeah, yeah. And he offered him and like the Messiah. That was the first one who got that offer. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Like, I believe in demons and stuff like that that run the industry and things like that, man. But when you try to go against the grain, so it is, it is situations where people do get sacrificed and killed. Uh, I don't know about this in particular, this uh, incident in uh, particular, because I think they let you reach a certain point sometime, but I don't know. So I'm not saying that what you're saying then, ain't well, right. I can then, then again, I had another point too. I don't know if they say he beat up his pregnant girlfriend. That was a wild ass. Yeah, they got, that girl got family too. They thought, first off, they said that he got killed for a Louis bag. Yeah, they took the Louis bag, got the back seat. The Louis bag, money. The Louis bag, money. You know, new niggas carrying purses. So he probably had money in his merch or whatever, satchel, whatever they want to call it. Boy, don't get nobody trying to stud on them. Boy, you be on Facebook, call me on Instagram, call yourself a fashionista. Don't you? It's for the likes. It's for what? It's for the likes. It's for the likes. Draw traffic to the post. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, we're not going to gloss over this. We're not going to gloss over this. He talking about little nurses. I'm totally against niggas. That's why I hated LeBron with the motherfucking uh, the slacks on and that fucking purse he had. That's why I knew they were gonna get sweat. <laughs> I the game with that dress suit on his and a, a fucking purse. Yeah, yeah, that Gucci was a two two on. He's a homo. Uh, well, listen, a romper. I don't give a fuck. I mean, people that kiss the song. I don't care how many times he been in his joint. Yeah. Walks like a duck. <laughs> Quacks like, like a duck. duck. And in the words of T.O., by golly, it's a duck. Oh my god. But what we won't do <laughs> is skip over this. We're gonna dissect this one because well, I'm, I'm sure I'm here with me. On a post, if you see fashionista, what comes to your mind? Uh, what you talking about? Like, well, it's no, it's hashtag. Hashtag. It's hashtag fashionista, what do you think? I think of a chick that's in the fashion. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you think, do you think of a heterosexual man? Nah. Uh, would you put that on there if you want somebody to like your picture? <laughs> no. Nah. If you was in the fashion, would you put it up on there? I ain't in the fashion to be using their lingo. I'm in the nah, fashion okay. like I like clothes and okay. shit like that, but I wouldn't. I ain't trying to be like people that's yeah, like they ain't in the fashion. I ain't fashion. trying to be looking like yeah, you. Yeah, I'm like. I get what you said. I'm not. Corey, no man, Corey man. don't think shit wrong with putting fashion east on his picture. Oh, it sounds like a, it sounds like a female thing to me. Yeah. But if I'm discussing fashion on my vlog. And everything. See, so he's leaving you that part out. No, hold on. No, 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 like fashionista or somewhere. Like fashionista. 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 Hey, you ain't trademarked yet. Listen, though. Listen, though. He said, Corey got a vlog on YouTube. But he doesn't say it in reference to his vlog on YouTube. Be honest. Keep it above, do you? Or do you just like have a. I have one. What's the shirt? What's the. Like, he have on a. What's that? A costume he had on? Yeah. And you didn't say nothing about the vlog. You said Q Diva. Get I didn't it. put out it. Work. Out that shit. But W E R K. Work. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. No, nah, I'm bullshit. You know, though. You ain't going to sit here and act like you just be in relation to your vlog. It just be on some random shit. You be like, it's a breezy day. Fashionista. I ain't never church did flow. no shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a breezy day. But, but like, when you, <laughs> when, you say you, when you say you draw traffic, though, for likes, though, like, I hashtag, like, when I, this is how I hashtag. I never hashtag on a, per, a picture of myself when I think I'm looking cute. We have our moments where we feel like we were more fresh than we've been recently in pictures. And we post that motherfucker. Months. We post that motherfucker. But if I'm going to, uh, if for the podcast, when I post, I post podcast, Indianapolis, uh, TC came in to see to nobody. I say shit to draw people directly to the podcast, you know what I'm saying, like that. I'm not concerned about likes per se. You know what I'm saying? Because likes do not determine the success. But some of people follow hashtags. They don't follow people. So people are following hashtags. So, you know, you can put like iHeartRadio or yeah. AMFM. So instead of like, damn, I don't want to put that. 
but then again, if you put it, it could it could brighten the people they may check. Like some people don't follow people. Some people only follow hashtags. And I understand that, but do you have your your real all on your page? Yeah. Well, you no, can, you ah, well, you can no, you uh, click on my link. My, it's in the bio. But do they go to the link? I, I don't know what they do. Anyway, let's let's just. Let's get back to XX then. You are a fashionista and no one's going to stop that flow. This <laughs> is <laughs> work. But no, back to XX, you know, on, on the real though. Yeah, uh, they took the Louis bag full of money after they shot it. Hell yeah, and I ain't want to just play just that clip right there. I wanted to play one because it just showed the so diversity of him. In this creation and evolution, no matter whether you realize it or not, every day you evolve, every day you create, you create in thought, you evolve in mind, you evolve. As far as your age, you evolve physically, mentally. If you are evoluting physically and you are not evoluting mentally, you are not doing the right thing. So, for you guys, I was guys, I want you guys to constantly, constantly, constantly be trying to evolve. Um, as far as creation, being creative in thought, being like living life like a dream, you know, like as far as you are. The actor in your own movie. You get what I'm saying? And you are the person that you desire to be. I, so I want, there was a point where I wanted to be a villain, and it's not fun, bro. It's not fun. People are like, it's, it doesn't attract anything that you truly want. It's better to be. When I hear this, he's 20 years old. That's what that's what some, some people ain't uh, realize. He's 20 years old. And, I, and I'm going to say this, and anybody who can understand where it come from, they can identify with this statement right here. The way you talk at his young age, you remind me of Tupac. Yes. And when I say that, I'm saying from the maturity aspect of being only 20 years old and then having like the, the, the uh, polarizing views of life, you know what I'm saying, where you talk about dying and then you talk about the positivity and things like that. And then it's a, it's a mature age because like if we had died at 20, like, how would our thought processes be? You know what I'm saying? Like, we had passed away at 20. That's what people don't understand. And what fucks me up about this more is, like, we talked about a Louis bag, you know what I'm saying, which has money in it, but I don't understand, like, what makes somebody kill somebody else for their own shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I done had issues with people where I wanted to fight them, but I ain't never want to kill nobody. You know what I'm saying? Because... Take their money from them. Now. Like, I ain't never been on that shit either. Yeah. Let's rob that nigga. Like, yeah. They ain't never crazy, man. Like you said, somebody. Nah, like, rob somebody. nigga and shit. That's a little bit different than killing a nigga. Yeah. I understand punching nigga in the stomach, watching the ball and phone taking it. I identify with that. <laughs> but the kill, what'd you say? Nah, it, it's like the greed thing could be strong, man. But nine times out of ten, that's probably somebody that knew him. Yeah. yeah that's, but that's the crazy thing about him. it, he tweeted out about this charity he about to throw five minutes before he was killed. Like, I'm. Um, Charity still going down this Saturday. Boom, I'm about to buy a motorcycle or whatever he was doing. He was buying a motorcycle and tweet out about the charity and go out to his car, get gunned down. Like I said, dude had to be somebody that yeah, he knows. It does definitely sound like a setup. From the first time I heard it, for somebody to know that he even riding with that amount of money and you to kill him instead of just rob him, that's like, yeah. that's it, premeditated. Then I looked at that's the personal. whole, I looked at the yeah, whole personal. scene that's real because the vehicle he was in. I mean, that could be anybody car down there, but like the tent, you couldn't even see who was in it. So somebody, yeah, somebody that, knew what he was. He the was windows was down, there. wasn't it? No, the doors was up once they found this lifeless body. But on the car they had, they come automatically like with the dark tents on it. And this, I mean, so it could be personal, but yeah. I'm thinking like they could have seen him going in and out of there. Yeah, and you know that this is a celebrity. He stands out in that area, I'm sure, and they'd be thinking like. We can rob him, so it could be a setup or it could be random. But what makes it like a setup, like y'all said, is the murder. Yeah, that's yeah. when it seemed personal. Right. You know what I'm saying? But academics told me he didn't get security. Well, You're too famous. To do with that you you could, if you want to talk, you could have been over here. What'd you say, for? <laughs> academics <laughs> said he uh, should should get security because you know you're more famous now. Yeah. You got more money. Like you can't just be walking around like this. You know, like it's all about your personal protection. Yeah, it's, like, it's like you said. It's a, a good. Like the Tupac thing, you know what I mean? To to be that knowledgeable and be able to touch that many people at a young age, but not to realize, not realizing how powerful you are, and do something like going around with no security and like this is a new day when you got money. You know yeah. what I mean? You you talking to a whole bunch of people that don't got money, 
and everybody feel like they can. So, oh, this dude's smart, and he got he testing as many people. Out. They don't like that. Smart might not like that. You know what I mean? Make oh, he never put in. Hey, could you put me on your song or? It, it could yeah. uh, derive from that. Some people are just wolves, man. Yeah. Like they don't, they don't have. Like I said, that we devoid of humanity and shit. And this, this goes back to the uh, with Roger. You know what I'm saying? Like, what makes somebody kill somebody? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, are we beefing at five o'clock in the morning? Type right. shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, the most disgusting part of this whole thing was people putting this shit on Snapchat. Yeah, this video was everywhere. I click, excuse me, I clicked the link, and I didn't know what I was gonna see. Tennessee, like I don't man, I, I'm not desensitized to death. You know what I'm saying? Death always shocks me. Mm -hmm. I'm not like I go back to the little camera on called the movie, everybody people die every day. I don't feel like that. That's a psychopathic psychopathic thought process. I'm always shocked when something like this happens. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even if we know that this is how this world is going, it's still shocking to me and it's still sad. And it's even more sad that people exploit it and that's like one of the pitfalls of social media and people trying to be popular like that's why social media is what it is though yeah. I mean yeah. cause of them people yeah them people exactly. who go in there and make them links and, and, and put that yeah. like you said desensitize this, this young man's death for views that ain't gonna get them nothing <laughs> you know what I mean and they, they don't get no return but they own <laughs> They own self feeling of feeling like, oh, they posted it, oh, I did that, oh, I let people know about that. Like, like oh, I'm the one who broke the Yeah, I'm the one who let people know. No financial. When you know you're not, though. You know, and even if it was financial, I still, like, I'm not a heartless motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not the exploit type. I'm not here to exploit. Cause that, I'm from a human aspect, that's somebody's son. That he somebody's fought, father. He had a, a young daughter. Him in that so, car dead, he means something to somebody. Well, this yeah. ain't just, you looking at it from the standpoint of a sick, this is a celebrity. And I'm going to get some likes off this, and people going to be like, you the one who found it. Yeah. And like, fuck I, TMZ. I, I wonder who told so yeah, This nigga fall on my couch. <laughs> hey, you got to take this shit outside, you fucking savage. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> <long. laughs> <laughs> 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 I apologize to this lady for not passing gas. <laughs> but, he just, just fall on my couch. But, yeah. <laughs> but I, I really, that, that shit's sad, and it's heartbreaking. And Corey mentioned earlier that another rapper was killed this weekend. Uh, I forgot his name. And that's fucked up because we don't Walk. care because he's not as famous. Joe Watt. <laughs> yeah. What is it, Dave? <laughs> I, I know yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I just want to shout him out, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's crazy because... Ah, uh, Jimmy Wopo. Wopo. He, he didn't see even crack. Yeah, Jimmy Wopo. Yeah. 21. He was 21. This this was his third time getting shot. It's like, even crazier because he just signed to Taylor Games. Yeah. He just signed his first major deal. He just that's signed. Cool. Crazy. And that's like what was the dude that was fucking with T.R. Oh, oh yeah, um, no, uh, the one that got killed in Ohio when yeah. they shot the van up. Was that Philip? No, 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 no it's crazy because it's like getting shot at the finish line. Like, you've been running this race as hard as you can, and you get shot directly at the finish line, and we left with the what if. You know what I'm saying? Respectively, we are, um, we, we old men, in a sense, compared to these kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, actually, they young enough to be our kids. Yeah. If, if we were skiing ski the bitches when we were 16. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but if, if I got killed at 20, I wouldn't have had no fucking impact on the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, you would have, I wouldn't have had no kids, you know what I'm saying? Nothing. I would have had nothing but memories. Because even if I died at 20, I'm not, like, late enough in the game to be a part of somebody's Facebook post. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't nobody going to remember me and shit. They probably wouldn't even have that many pictures. How many pictures you got from when you was 20? <laughs> It be like, oh, they be doing flipper on Facebook, yeah. use that same shirt with the yellow shirt. <laughs> they keep on that same fucking picture with the yellow shirt. I don't want to be the yellow shirt nigga that died when he was 20. And I'm just, you know what I'm saying, you got to take it, take those blessings, be grateful and thankful, man, that we able to dodge these bullets because it's a target on us as who we are, you know what I'm saying? Like, we targeted. And so to get at this age we at, man, we got to count that as a blessing. Cause I officially crossed that line. I'm too old to get shot. It's, mm -hmm. I'm too old to get shot. Gang warfare. 
I refuse to, like, even if you shoot me, I'm like, man, you got to do something else. I'm not dying for no shots at this age. You got to poison me. You got you to gotta get a drunk driver to hit me. But I'm not getting shot and killed, hopefully. I don't want y'all play this back and say, yeah, he said he wasn't even going to get shot and killed. That's crazy, yeah. That's crazy, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. He must have knew. Yeah. <laughs> he must have knew. But on the broader side of music, man, we can talk about some releases. Um, it's been a, a decent release of uh, weeks. First, we're going to talk about the one we all knew was coming, which is the Nas. Yeah. Uh, the Kanye produced uh, Nasir, seven tracks. Seven tracks. Uh, your thoughts? I thought it was a dope album. Uh, I, I thought he uploaded late as hell, like, damn, it's like, what the fuck's going on, Nas? Nice. But I thought it was pretty decent. He, um, one of the knocks on him has always been his production. Like, not having good production. <clears throat> and we talked about it last week, like, how would he sound on a Kanye track? And I thought it was pretty cool. Like, he's on there spitting. You check it out? Yeah, I did. I listened to it yesterday, actually. I thought it was dope. I mean, I didn't. I ain't know what to expect. I like Kanye and Nas, you know what I mean. But I guess I think I was highly anticipating it because they was putting the project together. I, I was happy about it though. I can't even. I can't even really knock it. I listened to it outside while I was doing some other shit. Listen, I, I ain't put it in my car and just get, go all the way through without nobody bothering me. But what I heard, it was, it was dope. It was Damn, dope. It's only twenty six minutes. Somebody was interrupting you. Yeah, that's <laughs> I, I'm always busy. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was dope. <laughs> <laughs> I was very disappointed. I was very disappointed. Was you? We all know Nas can rap. We all know Kanye can produce. When you put these two people together, you're supposed to get a classic. I did not want bored Nas. I did not want bored Bob. Nas didn't sound inspired to me. It's some good songs. But I'm not looking for good songs with Kanye and a uh and a uh a Kanye track produced track with Nas lyricism. Um like there's no it's no song that I'm like, man, that's that song is fucking hard. It was no song that I had to replay, like didn't even go to the next one, but replay that one and immediately. Mm -hmm. It was no verses on there. I'm like, man, I have to memorize that. I, it was nothing that stood out on that shit to me. Uh we always talk about Nas beat selection. But the albums where people criticize his beats was the beat the albums I like the best. I yeah. love Illmatic. I loved all this shit Still except, Matic, except probably like uh, that Nostradamus shit. I, I wasn't that no fan was of that. The, that probably was his godson. Weakest I like, I like they still had they still had gems on Nostradamus. Yeah, too. but I'm not like. <laughs> I, Did you like the album, the uh, Dick album? I love yeah, that album. That's what that shit was ridiculous. Yeah. I love that shit. But I, I mean, I expect more out of Nas. And, it, and it's, it's just showing me more and more that Jay-Z is the only nigga who can adapt with time. He's the only rapper at that Boy. level who adapts with time as far as Jay-Z damn nigga can ride any fucking wave and seem like he was responsible for it. And you see that evident. In, um, when they destroyed the the release of Nazir. No, because they don't, Nas is not a highly anticipated artist. Like, we like the yeah. last few motherfuckers really waiting on Nas. It's like we the old bitches and shit with wrinkles and nasty panties throwing them at him. Trick. Like, that's who we are for Nas right now. There's no young bitches out there talking about Nas, Nas, Nas. Uh, Jay-Z, on the other hand, which he's been helped with his marriage to uh, Beyonce, um, yeah. they released a secret album to Carter. You heard that? I heard it. Uh, I heard it. Uh, I just, you know, at first they put it on title. You wait a couple days, then it's on Google Play. I'm a couple day waiter type nigga. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna listen to it again, and that's not saying it's a bad album. Uh, but I don't want to hear Jay Z and uh, Beyonce on the whole CD. They oh, good for yeah. features, you know what I'm saying? It's like watching people kiss in public. You know what I'm saying? Like who take that shit home? Do that shit in private in your own home. Hold her hand. That's the feature. I don't want to see you fucking. I don't, I don't like what albums be have the have the when their whole purpose is to just be commercial. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't I, like, shit like I don't mind commercial songs. Like, I like good songs. Some of the shit may be pop, but, like, when the whole project is intent to be, you know, a tour and shit like that, like, mm -hmm. you know, it don't give people a chance to just see if they like the music. It's like, yeah. here, <laughs> you know what I mean? Dance to this or here. And, and these people, so listen. 
And something else, uh, I feel like first off, Jay Z, he still wraps his ass off. Yeah, I, I, he I, has. I love, I love them both separate. He has some. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. draws some incredible verses on this yeah, motherfucker. Now, man. as opposed to this fucking Nas, there were verses that I had to rewind. On Jay Z makes the album. Yeah, he definitely. And I'm he and I'm that. not no slight to Beyonce, but I've never like looked forward to Beyonce. I mean, I've never been like. Hey, she gonna bust his window. That lemonade coming out. She gonna teach that cheat, nigga. I've never been that kind of. Like, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. I think you gotta be a straight, girly woman ass yeah. person to listen to Beyonce. And if I'm a Jay Z fan, why the fuck do I want to hear you on songs with Beyonce all the way through the motherfucking thing? Like the features is dope. That's and it, and it remind me of the best of the both worlds. About that, that's I, I ain't, and I was about to say that I ain't want to fit nobody, but this? I never liked best of both worlds. I ain't it's never liked that for, shit. It's good in collaboration. Yeah, yeah. But a whole album nobody wants to they hear. Had a couple shit. club songs. Like, that was, was the intention. unfinished business was oh, the man. first one was alright. The first one was alright. The first one was alright. The second one was shit. But I feel like Jay Z still apologizing for cheating. Yes, <laughs> man. I feel like Jay Z still apologizing. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you something that I do like about it though: how transparent they are. If you gonna have people always talking about you and shit, you might as well make money off of it. Yeah. Cause they making money off cause people wondering like why this, why that, and shit. Oh, and still together. They. Yeah. What you thought about it? I thought it was a pretty good album. Um. Um. It'll get some replay. I thought Jay was on that motherfucker spit and sis. I said, well, we ain't gonna get another solo album, so I might as well just set these verses and take it as it is. Do you need another Jay Z solo album? I don't need another Jay Z, but you know, you yeah. always will like one. Yeah, I mean, overall, like, I don't even know what to compare it to. Like, hip hop, I'm liking it to, like, how would I put them against Ashford and Simpson? Uh, like, who do I compare it to? BBS TC Lions. Where would you put this? Like, you got this, you got Watch the Throne. Watch the Throne different. better than this shit. Yeah. <coughs> Watch the Throne spitting, they rap. I'm always yeah. gonna take rapping over a fucking uh, yeah, R&B. It shouldn't even be in his, uh. No, it shouldn't should even be in his, his representative <coughs> for, yeah. for his project. Now, I'm gonna tell you something that stand out that people won't catch. What? Now, he calls Till J Ho. <laughs> And she yeah, calls her Beezus. Yeah, no, Beezus. Yeah, Beezus. And they don't understand like the blasphemous shit. intent of that yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know it's the church of Beyonce. Have you ever seen that? Mm-hmm. Have you seen that shit? <laughs> you seen it? Nah. They, oh, yeah. I'm talking about a church service where they hell on Beyonce like she's a... Uh, How's the real church, church service? Yeah, I thought cool. like a video. I know they got the, the Beyonce college thing or whatever. Yeah, and it's crazy. And like I was yeah. going back to how we raised to worship these heroes that they put out in front of us. And what it is like... What they do, they give these people so much power, fortune, and fame, and all they have to do is continue to debauch them. You know what I'm saying? Continue to mindless behavior and like leading the youth, because for some reason the youth care more about what celebrities doing and saying as opposed to the people in their neighborhoods or their community. Mm-hmm. And it's all by design, which people don't understand because the neighborhoods have been fucking torn down since forever. So you, all, we've always seen or heard, even when we was coming up, it's not something that's just hitting today's youth. But they was always saying, there ain't no lot of lawyers or doctors in my neighborhood. We looking yeah. up to the hustlers and shit. Yeah. And it went from hustlers to entertainers to athletes and shit. So it's always about community. So they know that we identify with the people who empower because we identify money and fame with success. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how people determine success by how much money you got, how famous you are when that's superficial success because that shit can be taken away at any given moment. Real success is being happy with yourself, taking care of the people around you and your family. That's how I determine success by myself. And it's all, and in the United States, we in a capitalistic society where everybody always feel like, and, and I still got that feeling now to where the right fucking thing happened today, I can be a millionaire. Everybody got that feeling to a degree whether you fucking buying lottery tickets and shit, you gambling, you hustling. Everybody has the idea that I can be a millionaire or rich in an instance. And it's more like, it's 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 really the American dream. You know what I'm saying? And not too many people are achieving this American dream that we, that's pushed in front of us, that's presented as success. And that shit's crazy to me. I don't even know how I got on that tangent, but it was pretty good. And I think I can't wait till you edit that shit. Make sure that's in one of the most fucking uh, highlights of this goddamn show. But on some real shit though, it's a fantastic album, man. Just on the strength of that being a collab, uh, I thought about like your music. I'm like, what would be another collab if you was into this type of thing that people would want to see? Uh, and I'm trying to think like a man and a woman. 
and the only woman, and this shit gonna be kind of choppy and shit for as far as the uh, viewers go because I'm downloading shit. But the only like uh, woman I could see who could generate some kind of interest as far as a collab was fucking uh, Rihanna. Yeah. Would y'all agree? Mm-hmm. And who would y'all, if, if y'all was an Asian and y'all pairing Rihanna with somebody, who would you pair with? That's gonna rap? Yeah. Chris Brown? Nah, that's, 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 yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's salacious. That's a good one right there. Uh, Cause he whooped so you your just ass. He looked me like any artist. Yeah, any <laughs> artist. He whooped your ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no matter of fact, we go rapper. Let's, let's do rapper. Yeah, no, I say. Yeah, yeah. But Controversy yeah. sell though. Yeah, I got that. Like, this get back with that baby daddy who beat the shit out of him. If Chris Brown put out an album, Rihanna, that's gonna be reconcile. This is gonna reconcile a lot of fucking domestic violence relationships. Yeah, it's gonna make any rapper. Bitch being with a black guy, I don't know what Rihanna can do and I can do it. It would have to be Jay, I guess, since she wouldn't write that shit. Jay, I'd be crazy. He's with Beyonce. Yeah, it have to be somebody like I don't know, like I don't know. Drake. Yeah, it had yeah, to be Drake. 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 But he got to rap Drake. though. Like he got to get his right. Drake can do what the right. fuck he want to do. He taking on that harmonized little gay shit. Even Drake gonna sell no matter what. Yeah, Drake definitely gonna sell yeah. no matter what. If you put him, like matter of fact, that might not be a bad thing. Like if you put him and Rihanna on the track, it should be bad for my ears. Yeah. But uh. I don't know, man. I think that's something that could do some numbers and shit. What well, about like Papoose and Remy? You won't I don't want to hear that shit. Them. I don't want to hear Papoose by goddamn self. <laughs> I don't want to hear Papoose with nobody. Man. I don't want, do you like Papoose? I know he like a he like a battle rapper to me. Like I can listen to him he, rap. He got good freestyle. Yeah, there. I rather really listen to him rap than like hear his shit on the beat. But that's, that's what about back in the day, Biggie and Kim? Oh, or Jay and Foxy. Back in that day. Back in that day, that I'm saying. But Pat Poos, man, I don't want to hear him tell me shit except where the fuck Remy at. That's the only thing Pat Poos can tell me. <laughs> that's the only thing Pat Poos allowed to say to me, where Remy's at. And that's no disrespect to you, Pat Poos. <laughs> like, I ain't never heard no shit from Pat Poos. Like, man, that shit was It's bad when your bitch can rap. Man. The only thing I heard from Pat Poos is that Alpha Alphabet Freestyle. Yeah. That's, that's what he and that shit was down there phenomenal, though. It's like... You really can't top that shit. I, I ain't never heard that yeah, shit. He, uh, like, yeah, he killed that shit. Yeah, he killed that shit right probably, there. Like, I think probably took him a lot to write that one. Yeah, now nah, you can tell. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. that was his flow of his lifetime. <laughs> like, he can, I don't think he can really come back with no shit yeah, like everybody that. Everybody signed to it. Like, give me the alphabet flow. Like, right, you ain't got that. All right. Next. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to do that no more. Like, nigga, we ain't ask you what you want to do. Yeah, <laughs> but um. I think Rihanna has to be the woman uh, in that equivalent if we were uh, trying to find a female. Yeah. But um, I'm trying to download these fucking songs. That's how I was trying to get them before uh, you got here, whatever and shit. Oh, but okay. it's cool. Um, Scorpion next week. We got any, uh, any next week, the 29th? Yeah. Drake drops next week. Nikki puts your shit back to August. I really, before we uh, start talking to Hilly about this shit yeah. he got going on, I do want to talk about. Uh, Nicki Minaj and this is right here and I want to see if I was this trip and I actually was going to talk about this as a uh, topic. I got a shit computer man. My, <laughs> my computer can't chew gum and walk at the same time. <laughs> but look, I um, I think I got a flash. Okay. But what, with Nicki, you got the flash? Nicki was out here, she going hard and shit with her promotion for her new shit. That's a hell of a rollout. And, and she, she out here putting them plastic ass titties everywhere you look and shit. Everywhere I look up, I'm seeing her <laughs> goofy ass titties and shit right off. I'm seeing them goofy ass titties. And I, I'm I'm disgusted. Because it, it's just, it's like, it's it's, it's bullshit and it, it's attention horn. Like, she's so mad that it's 2000, it's Cardi 18. That's what I call this shit. <laughs> It's Cardi 18. Shout out to that fuck. You seen the Rolling Stones cover? Ah, uh, nah. With her and that, uh, with her baby daddy. Oh, her and her, her baby daddy. <laughs> it, it's a nice, it's a nice ass, it's a nice ass shot. I mean, just being honest, it's a Better nice cover. Better than Jay shit. and Beyonce picture. I don't agree with what they should <laughs> In the bed. <laughs> the no, they got one. a fire ass photo in that. They got a fire ass photo in that, uh, Picture they took it at was it Mona Lisa? And all yeah, yeah. I yeah. like that shit. I like that I shit. Like yeah. that shit. They, they're like the that first shit. people to ever record a video in there. The only. And I and I like I like how Jay Z and Beyonce moving. It, Cause Jay Z man, he's showing his maturity when he's making cashmere pant. We never thought that we'd see him in this capacity. You know what I'm saying? So I like you gotta cut out. Yeah. Uh, all right, man. Corey gotta cut out, man. Snatch the little one up. Duty calls. All right, man. 
Beyonce, I mean, Nicki Minaj going on this. Uh, P.O.P. Hold it down. <laughs> you look like a little dyke that I know my stage. <laughs> but, uh, they, uh, she out here, where she out here desperate, it seemed like for attention, to try, probably try to thwart what Cardi B got going on. Um, do it remind you of how little Kim was when Nikki was coming up? Yeah, uh, I think I think Nikki still got a little more time than Kim had at that time. She just got to like play her cards right and shit. I think the whole little love story with Cardi B and like, how like, how big the Migos are and all that it's hard for her to it's hard for her to top that. It ain't because it ain't just about the music. If it was right. just music for music, like Nikki still hard, but she is oh, she girl, still hard. I think she still got bars. She still got I think bars. she still her got bars. bars. I think that's what she, she that, got that's what she got over Cardi well, B. Did, when Cardi B got the whole yeah. Entertainment Tonight shit going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can't stop talking about her right now oh, with yeah. everything that's going on. This uh, folder is uh, bro, bro. Yeah. But like, yeah. But the thing is, man. Like historically, we've only seen. Right here. We've only seen, like, uh, what's I Trash Wilson? I don't know. Are you playing anything? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What, what, it, what it's like, we've never seen, like, two like two women be able to dominate the same time in hip hop. Mm-hmm. We've never seen that in the story of hip hop, two women dominate. So it's always, you wait your turn and shit, then it's my turn. And that's how come I think that Nicki Minaj, I'm, I'm sure that she recognizes this. And she knows that it's damn near a rap for her. I, that's just my uh, my take on it. And I don't think people like people checking for Nicki Minaj in the sense of like, what is she gonna do in relation to Cardi's success? I don't think that Nicki Minaj has been putting out like good songs lately. All she this is like what she says in every uh, song is some shit like uh, and, and, and stop me when I start lying. <laughs> all you bitches is bums. All you bitches, my sons. Yeah, like she called the bitches that's one of her favorite lines. <laughs> or or something about lace fronts. You have a lace front. Like that is that is like a like it to Jewel Santana bandana. You know what I'm saying? Where well, that's the only thing he can find her <laughs> rhyme with this shit. Or or MJG MJ Harry <laughs> Harry Track. I think I think Nikki still got. I think. Like I said, Cardi B just got more shit going on as far as like it ain't just with the music with her. Nicki, I think she still she still got Young Money, she still got Wayne, she still got like dope people who have been through shit who who still like finding their way, sticking around and shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Without like Wayne ain't never had no famous ass wife. It was always about his music. Drake too, it's always about his music. Same thing with Nicki, it's, it's always about that music. And that's that's kind of their downfall because they ain't entertaining enough on somebody else. When when Drake came around with Wayne, Drake was more entertaining because this nigga on TV and shit like that. You know what I mean? But they they still outlive that shit. I think she still. I think with her you music, can, she still can outlive that shit. You can see Drake trans like you can see Drake trans. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Transforming into an actor in some sort of capacity and shit because he have acting. Um, you know what I'm saying? Experience, yeah. Lil Wayne once raps over, he's died. He's dead. Yeah, it's, it's a yeah. Rap. He don't got a he don't got an acting career. And I don't think that Nicki Minaj has much personality. I think she has sass. You know what I'm saying? She has attitude, yeah. but it's not she translating into personality. She ain't gonna like, you know, because no. even in barbershop, that's what you expected out of her barbershop. Right. Right? But yeah. Cardi B right. has a fucking personality. She can Whether well, you think home. she's smart, stupid, dumb, she's successful by. Yeah. Her standards and she and she has that attitude and shit to where when she talk, you listen. Yeah, it's dominant. It, 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 it's something that she gonna say whether you wanna laugh, make a meme about it or something. Yeah. But with Nicki, I don't think Nicki Minaj never had that. I don't think no. I actually don't think. And, and that's what I'm saying. Her it. music, her music is Nicki Minaj's first only thing you can think of is her music. Right. So that's that's what she got to hold on to over And her body. Yeah, and, and her now, body too. And her body too. And right. now that that's not yeah, as viable shit. as it was because her ass don't shake when she moves. Nobody wants to see that stone ass no more. <laughs> like, it's no shock in seeing Nicki Minaj doing shit. Like, nah, she can't nah. wear shit that's a shock no more. So she's killed her shock value. And now, she the songs she put out, I, it's hard for me to critique a Nicki Minaj song because I don't know what people are listening for. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if it's good to somebody. I'm, I've, I've been a fan of her features. 
on Monster and shit like Monster. that. Shit like She's that. Not. Shit like that, yeah. But not like she rap like a nigga. Project. That's her. That's her. Like, she, she a girl. She got an ass and all that shit. But I think her tone is like, I can rap with niggas. I think that's the difference between her and our girl. Our girl's just like, like she said, she girly too. She don't have to, like, she don't have to portray something. I think Nicki Minaj is like, I can rap with niggas. I'm going to rap hard. You know what I mean? I'm going to still say, like, all you bitches is my sons. That's like a... Nigga shit. Yeah, that's like some nigga shit. It ain't like some shit females got to say because they're fucking a woman. You know what I mean? She she made up. She was made to be a shock value, like she said. And hey, we're going to give you this, give you that. Just keep rapping hard like a nigga. But you look like a girl. Yeah, we're going to confuse I like, people. I feel like it's basically a breath of fresh air. Like, Nicki really still hard. But, I mean, you know, after so long, man, certain shit just get old. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. And then something new come out. They got a new style, new personality, new everything. You know what I mean? It's kind of that kind of scenario. And they don't really be know how to deal with that shit when motherfuckers start. She better make some more music with her. And that's, <laughs> that's the best thing you can do really like that's, like that's the best thing you can do I said that's this, I said this, and I mean it. Women only bond over bullshit. <laughs> There's never a good reason for women to get together uh, as a whole. They, it's a nigga got to get shot by the police. Or they gotta be arguing about their baby daddies on Facebook. <laughs> they only bond over bullshit, especially at that kind of level. Sure. Like they can they can link up with a Beyonce because they don't look at Beyonce as a competition. Yeah. But how many times will you can you see a Beyonce doing something with a Rihanna? It's always competitive with women and men. We competitive too, but it's a different level. Yeah. You can always see the best with the best. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And yeah. and some kind of and it's crazy. It's sad because. Somebody got to die in that situation. Like, yeah, they both can't do that shit, but man of the hour. I, I've been telling you this for years. I ain't heard no new music in a minute. I'm telling you, listen. I used to be an insider where I get tracks. Now I got to hear what the rest of y'all hear. <laughs> <laughs> this is my nigga, Illy Octane, man. Uh, the Chief at Rich Harvest Studios. Got a new joint coming out. Uh, what's the name of your shit? It's Illy Octane. Self-titled. 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 Uh, how long you been working on it? Man, I've been working on it. I can't say I've been working on it for a amount of time. Like, I always kind of do music in between what I'm doing with the rest of the music. But I've been actually, like, probably this last month, like, all right, let me let me start wrapping this shit up so I can put everything together and put a project out like how I want to. So I, I, I say for at least the last month, the last month and a half. All right, now, how close are you to finish? Uh, weeks. Probably, probably three, four weeks at the most, it'll be done. It'll be ready to, to put all the way out, get streams and, and, and videos. The only thing be left to do is just do more videos, and I'm going to kind of do that based on, you know, the, the, the vibes I'm getting from the songs I got. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get more into this shit, man, but I do want to play these tracks first just right, to see. Uh, they're both uh, untitled tracks because well, they get numbers. I, I feel like we had this conversation or I done had this conversation about numbers and names before. <laughs> I don't know what the names is. It's just numbers because we're working on the tracks. But but like when I play them, you be able to see yeah, what they yeah, are. Yeah, I'll this so, one, This one, track number one, it's say 150. Is this an intro? That's probably an intro. The intro, though. I think everything I make is well, dope. Fuck it. <laughs> I want down, that's the intro. Yeah, uh, uh I can't say it's an intro because I, I got to separate it. I, I decided yesterday, actually, that I'm going to separate my project into two 11 song yeah. projects. The Illy diss is going to be 11 songs and the Octane diss is going to be 11 songs. And I'm saying diss because I'm an OG, but it's going to be, <laughs> you, know, you, know what it, you know what I mean, though. Can you clarify for the youth? Yeah, yeah. Not diss, but let's say stream. Tracks. Uh, yeah, tracks. Let's just say tracks. <laughs> SoundCloud tracks. I like that shit. You said it wasn't one of your favorites. I like it, though. Um, one of the bars that stood out when you said that you were tipping Kitty Red, another <laughs> rapper here in Indy. You did, you, yeah. you did song with her? Yeah, I got a song with Kitty Red uh, that we put out on the last mixtape, We're 17. Shout out to Kitty Red. Uh, okay. What she, you know what she got going on in her shit? Uh, she just always promote moving around, kind of the same thing. I always see her, you know, Miami or wherever else, just promoting her music and her brand. Uh, Sometimes don't you wish you had a pussy to negotiate with? <laughs> like you not attached to and shit, but you be like, hey man, I need, it I need like, some it studio like it time. It seems like it's easier sometimes in this business. Like, yo, like, I need some studio time. Like, what you gonna pay me with? 
Like, you like, handle your pussy and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you just pull a pussy. He like this. You gotta, you gotta fucking promote it. This shit is tight. Hey, a lot of them. A lot it ain't of got them no mouths on it. Like got a fucking odometer on it. Shit, you handle a pussy with low mouths, and you get anything you want to with a pussy, man. Put put you some glasses on it and some fucking weed. <laughs> 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 Niggas go crazy over that pussy out your pocket, like, no man. Money, no money needed. Hell yeah, that's, yeah the power of pussy. <laughs> hey, these bitches yeah, on trip be, everywhere. You gotta be careful with them in business, man. You gotta be careful. As soon as they think you. You think they killed or some shit like that? It's like, oh, I get it. This bad eyelashes and shit. Man. No, not, not over here. <laughs> hey, I'm about to go into the second track, and you can. Uh, matter of fact, we gotta talk about something off here. Idea I approached you with about the documentary for your shit. Yeah, and this this the man right here, Water Man. Okay, but well, I'm gonna Absolutely. talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you too, though. It's every other week, just trying to bring some of our artists and get them familiar with the rest of the people that's that's been listening to us already. But um, it's the same. It ain't really nothing necessarily new. It's just doing what we've been doing it and doing it better. You know what I mean? Putting music out, producing our own music and stuff like that. It's it's still it's still rolling that way. And I'm gonna get to the Rich Harvest Radio. But before I go there, I wanna ask you this: uh, in comparison to your last joint, do you think you like this one better? Do you think it's uh, shown anything different? Like, what's the difference between the last one and uh, this one? Uh, the last one. I, it was my first solo, so I was kind of a little bit nervous about doing my first solo. This time, I ain't nervous at all whether it's a solo song or it's a collab song. It's like, this is what I want it to sound like. I want to make this type of song. I want this producer to make it. I kind of know more about which direction I wanted to go. That's why that's why I made so many songs. All my, I made a lot of songs, but they all different. You know what I mean? And the hardest thing about being an artist is saying, nope, don't put that on there. Nope, don't put that on there. So I just thought I was smart by breaking it up. Like... If you're a fan of mine, it don't matter if I give you this 11 songs this week and another 11 songs next week. I feel like you're still going to listen to them, and, and you're still going to love it. This will be the first album that you had, though, since the um, clips broke up. <laughs> we know that Pac-Man has <laughs> stepped out of his own venture, man. How, how different do it feel, shout out to Pac, uh, to do music for the first time in this capacity without your brother here? Um, it's a little different. Like I said, we've been like that's been my partner for the longest. Um, but it's it's something that was inevitable. I think that's my younger brother. You know what I mean? And he he do what I do, so it's only natural that he gonna want to break off and do his own thing on his own. And we, and it's still respect amongst us. We still you know talk and collab together. I don't, it's it's no it's no issues between us. It's just a growth. You know what I mean? Now he doing what he do. He's still producing beats for me. You know, I still jump on tracks with him. It's just, you know, just the difference in the pain of what we want to do and where we're trying to go. We going, I think we go in the same direction, but we we just do it in different ways. That's what's up. That's what's up. Again, shout out to Pac and uh, New Wave. Um, you mentioned Rich Harvest Radio, and uh, I'll give a shout out. Shout out. I was thinking about how sometimes you put people in position to uh, like succeed. Like you know, people's like their strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. And you can introduce them to certain things that then it's up to them how how they advance and how they grow with it. Right. And uh, people don't know that you actually got me started in the podcast. Like, you afforded me the opportunity and stuff. So I want to give you a quick shout out for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Appreciate that. Uh, and so you back in the podcast saying, yeah. Rich Harvest Radio, what's going on with that? Um, just trying to continue what I was doing, man. I think, I think like I said, radio and being able to have people work that side of the business is always going to be beneficial for what I'm doing with, with the music, you know. And not just trying to uh, use the radio to just push what I'm doing on, on in people's face. Like, I, I listen to all type of music, so I wouldn't just be like, here, this all my songs all day, all day long. And even though it feels good to be able to do that when I want to, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, I'm, I'm really into the music. I'm really into pushing our brand and pushing uh, you know, the whole Midwest as a whole and, and the music that we rock to. I'm really into pushing that and mixing ours into it too, so people will know. Well, shit, they they music just as good as anybody else's. So that's that's why I love the radio. I can't really see stepping away from that. It's it's just another big platform that, fun, we, that we can use. Yeah, it is. So y'all just got that one show going right now. Yeah, we got one going right now, and I got two more shows that's gonna be starting at the beginning of uh at the beginning of July. We still kind of working out the kinks and everything, and uh, but yeah, it's, it's like I said, it's been fun. We we had three shows in July. And, Probably try to get more as, as much as we can, as long as people we can find people who want to work their shows just as just as serious as we do with the music. 
Um, do you have any hosts in mind for those shows? Um, they already got hosts. One of the shows is uh, Weez is doing. It's called Fuck Your Fuck Your Relationship Goals. I think it's starting the first week of July, and then the other one is. Um, that's the title of his show. Yeah, I gotta, yeah, I gotta yeah fuck your relationship I, goes. I need to understand that level of anger. <laughs> and that's, need... that's the title. It's him. It's him and uh, it's him and three other three other uh, guests, three other yeah. hosts. Um, they did a couple couple rough draft shows. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. You know, it's it's something different other than what we already doing, and they serious about it, and it seems like they having fun with it. Is it like a relationship format or just some cool? Kids no, it's just like I, I don't. They kind of like testing people in their relationship, you know what I mean? They praising people in their relationship. It's, I think it's all different types of angles just of just being in relationships. Okay, and that's just, is that the uh, only host that y'all got so far? Um, the other show, I'm, I actually don't even, I haven't met the girls yet. I think it's called Two Bad Black Girls or something like that. I, I haven't met them yet. What kind of 1990 sitcom <laughs> name is that shit? <laughs> don't quote me because I might, got the, I might got the title wrong, but it's it's something about black girls. I know that. So They rock. Yeah, they, they, already, they already been kind of doing it, I think, online, and they got some good views and stuff like that, and they're interested in going to a radio format with it. So we're gonna, we gonna try them out too. Are y'all gonna be doing any visual? Like maybe. Yeah, we think about we think about going into Rich Harvest uh, TV as well. But that, I think that's something that's down the line when we when we start growing and getting more people that can take that role as far as being cameraman and stuff like that. Okay. What's happening? We got Essay in here, man. What, what's up with you? <clears throat> man, trying to get this album going. Trying to get these videos thumping. See the trap jumping. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, right. have you been working on an album? Yeah, I actually have. I've been uh, trying to get this second one pushed up, pressed up, and everything. It's been real, real yeah, rocky with this one because I kind of produced it myself, so I did everything from the jump. So it's like I'm starting to learn a lot with the business, so with being an engineer too, so. With you uh, producing it and, uh, of course, rapping on it, do you think that, because um, you have an album before this, right? Yeah. So with this one right here, do you feel that at the end you'll feel more rewarded because you've done both sides of it? Um. See, my first one wasn't mapped out how I wanted to because I didn't take it seriously, if you really want to. Honest to God, truth, I didn't take it that serious, so it wouldn't wrapped up how I wanted to be, but this one, yeah, it's going to be very, very nice. I'm going to give y'all my fair money this for Do you have a title for it? Sorry for the wait. Who somebody know. got that title? Yeah, pl plenty of people got it. Okay. What but it don't belong to nobody. I'm just saying, like, what distinguishes yours from it? Because it was supposed to be dropped January 13th on my birthday. That's a long way, nigga. <laughs> Happy well, birthday. Said, yeah. <laughs> uh, you performed at the fashion show, man. Uh, how do you like performing live? I actually, I get the jitters, but then again, now it's like, I, I, I um, you learn every, every time you perform, you know what I'm right. saying? So you learn and you grow from that, and I feel like I'm almost ready. I ain't gonna say I'm just like ready, 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 because you still gonna get the jitters no matter what. My right. first time going on stage when, uh, when we hit Latitude 360. <laughs> Boy, that was in what fifteen? Was yeah, fifteen? Yeah. yeah, I thought we had, you know, I thought we was on BET somewhere the way we ran out there. Hell no, that's what's up. I mean, you did do it. I mean, yeah. shit, that's your success. Uh, do you still get the jitters turn on when you go up? Uh, <clears> Eliante, when you go up, every cut that out. <laughs> no. Every time, every, every time, man. That's, I mean, I think that's the part that make it fun, though. Like. If you going up there and you bored and you like or you drunk or you you ain't in your right mind to enjoy what you about to do, you gonna be somewhat nervous because you, you want to come off how people, you know how your fans want you to or your listeners want you to. So you always gonna be a little bit nervous up there. And like once you get going through those jitters, like some yeah, songs. Yeah, as soon as, as soon as about that first thirty seconds of the beat drop, the yeah. jitters be gone. And, and this is what I want to say, Javar the fighter, yeah. he undefeated fighter, so we got a fight coming up Saturday. As soon as you get in that ring, are you are you nervous at all? When you coming down to the ring? Oh, when I'm coming down? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I be. Like, I get nervous. I'm watching my yeah. like, favorite fighters fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So I can understand that. It's like, me, myself, I don't have a problem speaking in front of people. 
But sometimes, I, like at first, you know what I'm saying, I kind of get that jitter and stuff, so it's all identifiable. Right. Um, that's like, when do you think you had your album done? I want to put it out for another uh, 30 days. He don't know. He don't know? He don't know. Because I still got songs. See, I ain't going to say I don't know because I still got songs that I'm trying to you know, get together and get everything mapped up. The right. songs that's going to make it and the songs that's not going to make it. Right now, what's your favorite song that you got recorded? It was off his album though. Uh 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 Coop. Coop on the yeah, something. Yeah, and I don't share a song, so that song ain't going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's why I said that's my favorite one that I did. See, this I going on the soundtrack nah, then, my not, shit. No, nah, he, he got some, he got some dope songs though, man. He, I I give it to him. He got he been putting in some work. He um still at that phase. Like I I, I know the process of what it takes at least to me to put a project out. And I'm watching. I'm watching him, and I'm watching some of the other people that's around the studio. And he about he about in that phase to where it's like, all right, I'm done. I'm done with this many songs. Let me put these songs together so I can see what I'm missing. You know what yeah. I mean? That's that's kind of the phase that I see that he has. So I say probably about another month or so he should be ready. How hard is it for you to not have Rich Harvest turn into? Death Row with all the violence up there with S.A. beating up Rico. Fuck it, I want to let that Nah, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, man, it's, it be, it be family shit going on at yeah. the studio. You know what I mean? Like you can't control it. Yeah. Everybody's attitude every day, and then you dealing with grown men. You know what I mean? I'm not jumping in no grown man fight. So if you, for the record, I did not beat Rico up. I didn't do nothing with you guys talking about. I don't even know what happened. Hey, if they start getting close enough to chest bump, I'm just like slide back, and then I'm just gonna beat up whoever breaks something in the studio. <laughs> you know what I mean, I so must say this. Or something like that. I must say this. I, the last time I was at the studio when uh, Pat was having his release for uh, his, his uh, backseat driver. S.A. tapped me on my shoulder and said, I'll be the Rico. So that's where he I got lied. that information from. <laughs> he lied. He lied. I don't know who told him that. That shit was on TMZ. But look, we, was just, we was just at the event, right? At the, the thing. He said, S.A. I was confused. He said, S.A. I was confused. So tell me how you beat a Rico. I said, excuse me. I, I needed I the mind. scoop. No comment. <laughs> but no, nah, shout out to Rico, man. He can be, he's still battling. No, nah, he ain't battling in a while. He kind of, I think he more on trying to do music now instead okay. of doing the battle rap thing. And I must say this, man, in all honesty and shit, I've I've never come there and see nobody whack. Like, I ain't seen you fuck with nobody whack and shit. Like, everybody got their own lane and shit, their own style, how they do their shit. And for the most part, it's been the same team. Like, the core, the core still been up there, man. I want to shout out to Tron and uh, Trouble. Yeah. I ain't seen them niggas in a while, especially Trouble. Trouble, that's my guy, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, But that's what's up, though. Have you had any battle events up there lately? Nah, we haven't had a battle up there, what, I think since March? March yeah, or something March. like that. It's been a while since we had Well, I'm looking forward to the next one. I always, I always enjoy seeing that other side of music um, when they come in and do their thing. Because it's, like, it's almost like a battle with us, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, y'all rapping without no beat. Uh, come check this shit out we did with the beat, you know what I mean? It'd be, it'd be some cold battle rappers and some of that shit be dope. Some of it be whack, but for the most part, you know, they would be some dope ones. It's entertainment. Yeah. Hey, you ever thought about getting in? Nah, I ain't never, I don't, I don't know. I ain't never really thought about battle rapping. I like cyphers more than battle rap. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't be that aggressive with my lyrics. And then if I do get that aggressive, I'm probably talking about some shit that's for real. So it's yeah. probably going to turn into something else. Like, that's I, only, see, I tried. I wanted to try. But then again, the way I see how niggas be spitting in each other's faces, yeah, touching like, each other's pockets, I ain't, I ain't cut for that type of shit. That's how I come on, though. I couldn't do it. Because I ain't, ain't no real rapper. Person. I'm a street nigga at the end of the day. I ain't with all that Get checking, spitting yeah. all on my face. I've been to beat your ass. And, and I think you gotta have some kind of temperament to take that. And like you said, it's a temperament. Yeah, yeah you do. Know, it's like it's like because I can't. I just saying shit. Yeah. 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 It's like anything like and being a fighter. They get to the core though with them words, with them bars. Yeah. They they say shit. The, them battle rappers. They it's two battle rappers. They both. Going for the most humiliating shit that yeah, they can they say. You know what I mean? They, they <laughs> somebody gonna be better than the other one, but it don't matter if they are. That it, the one that was worse still said something that. That put a motherfucking <laughs> cut under your eye that was like, oh, damn, he said that shit so I done heard Arsenal say, I said I won't go say nothing about your dead daddy. 
But your dead daddy yeah. <laughs> kick it off like yeah, that. Yeah. I heard him talking about dead DNA mama being in a wheelchair. <laughs> I heard something about a nigga shit. getting shot. Then he told him about how he was fucking with a trainee, all type shit. I'm sitting there looking like, they going in. serious. They don't leave no, no stone. Uh, uh, hell no, no they okay. don't. <laughs> and I pride myself on <laughs> having those skeletons in the closet. You can't expose. <laughs> but it's some shit you can say to get punched in the stomach. Right. <laughs> it's some right. shit, man. I'm not that fucking mature. <laughs> so when you be around here and all that. But I guess they know it's a game. So I, they go in there with that mentality. And shit. Yeah. Sometimes fights do happen. But I don't know. Uh, I like battle yeah, rap. Somebody got shot before behind that shit. I told, I told Tyron a long time ago that we should have been kicking that shit off. I feel like we missed that bag. Because we could have set it off in Indianapolis. I'll never let you live that down. Anybody <laughs> ever get rich off of bone battle rap, I'm going to blame you. <laughs> but no, nah, um, it's always, it's always a good time when you come here, man. I, I do got to start hearing more music. Actually, I come up there and kick it and shit. Um, see what's going on and shit. Introduce myself to the new regime. <laughs> but no, I got to come up there and um, check you out on your show. Oh, like, yeah, wherever man. you invite me. Welcome. All right. soon, as soon as I do the Rich Harvest edition of this, I'm, I'm going to invite you to ask me the same questions again. Exact same questions. Um, anything you want to say? Before we wrap this up, nah, man, just uh, Illy Octane, everything, all social media. Look, be on the lookout. Uh, Rich Harvest, we're gonna keep you updated. I'll let you know when the project dropping. I'm geek. I'm super geek. I think y'all gonna be geek when I finally let it go. Uh, oh, I know y'all gonna be geek. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, are you talking about me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, man. Sa Rich Harvest on Facebook. Uh, Sa Rich Gang on Instagram. Follow me. I'll follow back. This project gonna be real, real dope. Got a couple of little new dope artists on there, and I just want y'all to tune in. Right? Essay, it's not like the Mexicans. It's letter it's S, S and the letter A. a. You got you go to your social media shit. Huh? You get your social media? Yeah, Ilya Octane, everything. Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud, all that shit. And I gotta give a shout out to Hebrew. I gotta give a shout out. It's a way I know we old as fuck. Shout out to your daughter for being part of the fashion show. Oh, yeah, yeah. She did her thing, man. I, I was feel old as fuck seeing yeah. that, man. I feel old as shit. <laughs> she, she, pulled, she dropped me up to the studio later that weekend. Did like, she? We were like, oh, yeah. Like, just tripping out as he driving and man, shit. Man, I was like, boy, you got your seatbelt out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But that's what's up, man. It's another fantastic show. Uh, I always tell y'all it's going to be a fantastic show, and I haven't let nobody down yet. Shout out to Ilya Octane and SA for coming through and kicking it. Uh, and, and like I said, it's always an open invite. We ain't got to talk about music. You just bored on Tuesday. Either one of y'all come in here and talk about I got nothing a, with us. I got a subject for you. So you want to talk about me beating up on people? Cut that out. Uh-huh. But uh, again, man, this is Shug Week. Shug motherfucking fresh. Shug. That's how we do that. Uh, birthday Thursday. Shout out to my nigga, man. Um, Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Shout out to my co-host who had to cut out, Corey. People don't really understand, man. Corey, he, he got his he got custody of his daughter, man, so he be having to make moves and shit. Um, that's not advantageous to finishing the show sometimes. So shout out to him for even coming when he knew he had to go and do that. Uh, shout out to my nigga, J.R. Damn, I'm going to call that nigga J.R. Smith. Shout out to my nigga, Javar Superstar Jones, who will be beating somebody up this Saturday at the factory on Crawfordsville Road. If y'all ain't do nothing, man, come oh, and yeah. check that shit out. He A-Town, man. We got to support the hometown. Yeah, on Crawfordsville Road? Yep. You know what I said, Jeff? Fatigue them shit. Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, right I do. over there. Last event. Shut down last time. La- the, the fire marshal came in and that bitch. Oh, was for real? Fat last time. This show gonna be crazy. Uh, he gonna oh, go yeah. in there and do his work and shit. And he out here got my production and shit turned up and shit. Uh, the, the YouTube channel will... It, be live in a few minutes. I'm not saying live like it's there now, but we're not having views. <laughs> but it's going to increase, and I'm shout out to Javar for that, man. Uh, shout out to everybody who listen uh, week in, week out, every Tuesday. We usually start at 8, but lately we've been on some real nigga shit starting. <laughs> I got to get that shit under control. Uh, shout out to, again, everybody who fuck with us. we see y'all next week. Rich. Okay. TCK. Okay, so y'all shit. I don't say much. <laughs> <laughs>